Welcome to Barrie, Ontario, located in the heart of one of this nation's most populated snow belts. Today, I will be embedded with an elite force committed to a battle all Canadians can relate to. Armed with nothing but a giant plow, this is the War on Snow. This is the Mayor of Barrie, Mayor Jeff Lehman. Hello, Mayor Jeff. How are Hi, you? Rick. Welcome to Barrie. Thank you, Your Worship. I'm happy to be here. I'm uh, going to join the team, correct? You are. Now, you've had what? You've had like a foot of snow. That's not too, too much. By Barrie terms, that's a dusting. Well, how big is Barrie? What's the population? Barrie's 145,000 people. And what do you got to spend yeah. on snow clearing? Five to six mil a year. So it's substantial. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Well, it's Canada. It snows here. Explain to me why the graffiti and the cute pictures on the plow. Yeah, you know, it, what a great initiative. One of our staff came up with this. They had school kids come and paint the plows. It was a contest. And then we actually put the plows on the routes where the school is. So the kids, when they're walking to school, will see the plow that they painted going around in their neighborhood. OK, well, I'm going to get out there. All right. Thank you very much. Try and bring it back in one piece, 007. <laughs> I will. This is Mike Loosemore, snow plow operator. Hello, Mike, how are you? Good, how are you, Rick? I am excellent. You, sir, I guess you drew the short straw because I'm tagging along with you today. Apparently so, I didn't have much of a choice. That's right. But I'm okay with it. That's good. It's just like a car, well, right? Before we start, do you have a driver's license? Yes, I do. DZ? Class three. Do you have a DZ? What's a DZ? Yes, officer, I have a DZ. <laughs> well, I'm good to go. I'll get in the passenger seat to start. It's heated, that's good. I'm not suggesting this is true, but when that plow came around the corner, he said, look a buddy, look, blowing the snow out into the road. Oh, that would never happen. And he would never say that. He's what he said. You don't want me to say this on TV, do you? Son of a something anyway, and I don't even know his father. <laughs> but if I did, I'd tell his father, don't be pushing it in my driveway. Sorry about that. I was in the truck too, and I should have said something. I saw the garbage there. I'll get that for you. Okay, I got it. Now, I was going to get out because I put a shovel aboard the truck and I was going to get out and shovel you out. No, you because weren't. I saw this lady there, this <laughs> lovely lady. Teach me how to use the snowblower. I've never used one. Yeah, you have. You're I from Newfoundland. I, Dad would never buy one. He's too cheap. <laughs> too cheap. <laughs> Sorry! It's hard not to put it out on the street, isn't it? Oh, look, it's happened. The army has been called into Barry because of one foot of snow. What's the situation on the ground? Not too much. In the war snow. on snow. A lot of snow, it's my way to work. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, so you haven't actually been called in. No, this is actually my house. My commitment is to give the Canadian forces the equipment they need. Right. Pretty good. What, what kind of model is it? CF-18. Get your shovel. Oh, the shame. You just stay there. There we go. Nice. Anything for our men and women in uniform. It's a natural instinct. I would have the same thing. If I looked out and my recycling was banged over, I'd say, why didn't the plow go around that? Yeah. But now that I'm on this plow, I see that that would be impossible. You would it would take you five times as long. Yep. OK, Mike, we're back in the yard. The city of Barrie have been tremendous, and they gave us all access. But then they said, Rick can't drive the snow plow because of liability and the fact that there's about $400,000 worth of cars on every block and people and children and stuff. But we have an obstacle course here. That's correct. We're the only thing that can die our pylons. We'll put our seat belts on. Oh, yes, of course. Put it in drive, and it's an automatic, so it's just like driving a car. And away we go. Well, you got through. I got through. OK. So I have to pretend that these pylons 
or whatever you want them to be. They're cars, they're Audis, they're BMWs. I'm on Bay Street. Can you do donuts in this thing? You can try. There you go. Get her over going around. <laughs> That's all I ever want to do is a donut. <laughs> to that car. See? And through the pylons, I went as close to him as possible without touching his car, and yet, what happened? He complained to the city. Oh, okay, that was a little close. I told you, Mr. Mansbridge, do not take my parking space. There you go. And that is how you clear a parking lot. I think we need to leave a note. I can die happy. Donuts in a snowplow. Thank you so much. No problem, Rick. Come back anytime. I will indeed. Snowplow drivers, true Canadian trailblazers. <laughs>